Hello and welcome to Bakemas Day 10. Today we're making possibly the most ideal Christmas cookie mix. It's a classic gingerbread cookie mix. So first, make sure you have your quart size jar washed and dried. And we're just gonna set this aside for now. First, we want one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Now, the original recipe does not call for any salt, but I added a quarter teaspoon just because salt helps make our flavors pop. So whisk those three ingredients into your flour. And then get out a canning funnel, or you can just make one using wax paper, parchment paper, or I have foil here. And I'm going to spoon our mix right into our jar. I'm going to take my quarter cup measuring spoon and press some of the air out of our flour, which will also make room for the rest of the ingredients we need to put on top of our flour mixture. And again, give that a little shake to level out the flour. This just helps us get the nice pretty layers we like to see on the side of our jar. On top of our flour, we're going to put one cup of brown sugar. Now, when you measure your flour, make sure you spoon the flour into your measuring cup because as you can see, flour will pack down. Contrary with brown sugar, make sure when you measure it, it's packed brown sugar. You can use your funnel here, and I think I will. It just helps not make so much of a mess. Then we want to go ahead and pack down the brown sugar really well because we still have more to put in our jar. There we go. And lastly, this is not a mistake. We're gonna add more flour, but this time we're gonna add warm, yummy spices. We're going to add two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of allspice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of ground clove. Whisk that into your flour. Get all those spices evenly distributed throughout the flour. If I forgot to mention it, this is again one and a half cups of flour. Bring our jar back and our funnel and we're gonna spoon all of our spiced flour into our jar. You might have to shake it out of your funnel. Shake it down. This is why quart jars are so important. If you watch the first eight episodes of Bake Miss, you'll know that my jars were slightly smaller than a quart and we didn't always make it fit in the jar and we had a couple close calls, but today we fit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was our last ingredient to add in. So not a super exciting looking cookie mix in a jar. Pop your lid on. Find or make yourself a gift tag, and you better believe I'm gonna use the little gingerbread man gift tag on this jar. If you'd like, get yourself a bow. And there you go. Now we're not quite done yet because your gift recipient needs to know how to make their gingerbread cookies. Now I would recommend you giving this gift to people who probably bake um, because this recipe when you make it calls for you to add molasses. Now if your person doesn't spend any time in the kitchen there's a very low chance that they have molasses in the kitchen and it's just going to be one of those things that they have to buy one time for this one cookie mix that their friend gave them and now they have this 10 year old molasses in their kitchen that was a bit dramatic but i hope you get my point that someone who probably bakes every once in a while might appreciate this more than someone who never bakes never cooks so just keep that in mind but i will let you give this gift at your own discretion so down below i will leave the instructions on how to construct this cookie mix in a jar as well as the ingredients that your gift recipient will need to make and bake these cookies 
I do want to give credit to this recipe to the Domestic Geek YouTube channel. I have borrowed this recipe from her. I will leave the link to her video down below. If you would make this cookie mix in a jar for someone, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing the future Bake Miss episodes where there will be more brownie mixes in a jar, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you are notified when the new episodes come out. And lastly, if you haven't seen the first nine episodes of Bake Miss, you can click here on the screen and I will see you guys there.